viongozi wote wa kanisa na members wa kanisa wote God is good and all the time Your Excellency the President of the Republic of Kenya our Prime Cabinet Secretary our governor my colleague wa hapa Nairobi viongozi uh, majority leaders wa Senate na National Assembly all the members of the National Assembly as well as the Senate um, mimi askofu mkuu nimefurahi sana pia kuwa na nyinyi leo it was really just exciting kuwa in this worship space today na ile pia umetusomea makes a lot of sense na pia wacha niwe ni kuambia asanti kwa kutuombea pia kama viongozi wakati huu maneno haijakuwa rahisi sana but as you have said tunataka a peaceful and united Kenya na nikiangalia kila mtu na nikisikia kila mtu venye ameongea wale wote wameongea leo everybody is there you are preaching to the choir you are preaching to the converted sisi wote we want a united Kenya a peaceful Kenya kama uko Nairobi kama uko Vihiga kama uko Nyeri kama uko Nakuru kama uko Kakamega wherever you are in this republic that is what we want so your excellency the, pro the president tunakushukuru for bringing the country together sasa ni wakati wa kufanya kazi wakati wa siasa sasa tuache uko nyuma uh, askofu mkuu venye ulisema there is definitely going to be times of turbulence but god is always there and i believe your excellency we have gone now past the turbulence and now we are ready to work kabisa uh, let me add your excellency my voice to the femicide issue that is happening in the country right now your excellency i wish you would declare it a national crisis kwa sababu wale wa mama wameuawa in this year alone ni jambo hatujawaiona and especially vile wanauawa even i believe last night we saw something that as as a people hatujawaiona you know hatuoni hatujawaiona mahali mtu anachemsha mwili ya binadamu you know so it is really not okay your excellency tunataka you weep to shape uh, be it the security agencies that are supposed to be dealing with these issues tunataka kuona the perpetrators of femicide brought to book any other life lost is one life too many and we cannot afford that and as our sisters are being murdered our children are being murdered our mothers and our wives your excellency hatuwezi kuendelea kunyamaza lakini as others have said we need the men to join us women and bring your voice as well to help us end this na vile tumesema watoto wako nyumbani saa hizi let us as parents keep a watchful eye on our children and especially our girls but also your excellency kuna shida kidogo pia kwa vijana they may not be being murdered but there is a lot of bad things that are happening as well kwa hivyo kama kanisa askofu mkuu na ningetaka tu kuuliza muendelee kutuombea as a nation so that hii roho ya ushetani hata hiyo ikuje yani hiyo riswa kabisa for that roho iende kabisa because we have we are africans we have not seen this not that it is acceptable anywhere but it is a, a phenomenon yenye tunaona hatujaona and for the men perhaps there is a problem maybe we empowered the girl child and we must never blame, blame the victim and the men don't know how to deal with the girls i don't know what the problem is but for sure there is a problem there is a crisis your excellency help us help us get our girls safe tunaogopa hata kutoka kwa nyumba jioni tumeona hata zingine where somebody comes into a house at 4 pm mchana and they come and uh, abuse or, or assault uh, the, the girl in the house so your excellency mimi sitapitisha hapo lakini as a governor as a mother as a sister and a wife i am really feeling i'm in a space where we need prayers but we also need to see our security agencies get serious we need to see perpetrators being hauled into court being jailed for life or whatever so that it works as a deterrent for any other person who could think that the life of a girl of a woman of a child in this country is is worthless so asante sana askofu mkuu asante na pia my colleague sakaja nataka ku add my name to when you start building the church remember me i like to build churches as well 
because I believe that is how we get our blessings. Nitasimama na nyinyi. Na kanisa ya divine, God bless you. Tunawapenda sana. I have not felt so much joy in a while. It's been a turbulent time in Kenya, but you have made us feel so good, so positive. And as I have been saying, I think as Kenyans we need to be more positive. Sindio? And as Santi for saying, even the churches need to give us hope as we come to you for hope. Thank you and God bless you. Asante. Asante sana, Sen uh, <laughs> Governor Kika. Poli, tulikuwa senators pamoja. So sometimes I forget. But what she said is extremely important. Our two anelewa, Your Excellency. Mtu mtani, anaribu mtoto, anajulikana, aenda police station, anarudishwa mtani. Akirudi mtani, we know what they are going to do again. These people should be denied bail, Your Excellency. If, if I gave you a copy of the cases I see in a day, especially for informal settlements, you will, you will shed a tear. It is very sad. I think enough is enough. Where it has reached, let us... I know kuna sheria na kuna sijui bail, nini, but some of these things... Sisi tukiwapata hatu wafikisha kwa polisi. Habana. Because wanatoribia mtoto wa four years old, five years old, Your Excellency, that child's future is gone. Juzi mtu ati ya mechemisha mama. Tumepata langata symmetry. This must come to an end. Na wanaume? Wanaume? Yeah. Wanaume? Yeah. Wanaume? Yeah. A strong man is that one who protects a woman. Tuko pamoja? Yeah. Musifiche mtu atiuni ndugu yangu, tutamrekebisha. Atiuni kazi ni yangu. Jukesho itakuwa ni mtoto wako wameendea. Kila mwanaume hapa ukuna dada, ukuna mama, na unezoku ukuna mtoto msichana. Let us take this thing seriously. Since I will not talk again, Your Excellency, kwa sababu pali mefika msharangu imeisha, ikienda juu, haita rudi chini, watu wangu, na wapenda sana. Asanteni sana. Kwa kusimama na sisi, na serikali ya Nairobi. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Tuzidi kushirikiana mtaani. Simefraya watoto wanakula kila